Congratulations on making the Riddell Revolution Speed football helmet your helmet of choice this football season. The Revolution Speed combines Revolution concussion reduction technology with an aggressive shell design and a super comfortable antimicrobial overliner to create a helmet that's unmatched in speed, comfort, and stability. Revolution Speed features a new face mask system designed from the ground up to optimize sight lines, while Riddell's exclusive quick release face guard system grants easy and swift access to the player. Determining the correct helmet size is the first and most important step when fitting a player into a Riddell football helmet. Just as each player has an individual skill or talent, each player will have an individual helmet size in direct proportion to the circumference of the player's head. To get the most accurate circumference measurement, use a cloth measuring tape, fixing the tape approximately one inch above the eyebrows. Guide the tape around the player's head, ensuring the tape remains flat and taut against the player's skin and hair. When the tape has traveled completely around the player's head, determine the helmet size by the number that appears when the orbit is complete. Riddell's circumference guide will help you select the right helmet size in accordance with the player's circumference measurement. For example, a player with a 21-inch circumference measurement would be best fitted in a size medium Revolution Speed helmet. A player with a circumference measurement of 22 and 7 8 inches would require a size large helmet. If a player's circumference measurement falls between helmet sizes, choose the smaller size. Double-checking your measurements will ensure your players get the right fit and the best protection. Before putting on your Riddell Revolution Speed football helmet, make sure that the correct size appears on the helmet size label. After confirming the appropriate size, the player should hold the helmet with the thumbs over the bottom of the S-pads or face pads and the fingers against the exterior shell. Bring the helmet down at a slight angle with the S-pads first touching the temples. For additional leverage, place the index fingers into the ear holes. This should help bring the helmet straight down into position. When adjusting the inflatable helmet liners, it is important to use a Riddell inflation bulb and a well-lubricated Riddell inflation needle. The Riddell inflation needle is 5 eighths of an inch long and will not accidentally puncture your liners if used properly. Notice that the Riddell inflation needle is shorter when compared to a standard inflation needle. When lubricating the inflation needle, do not use petroleum-based lubricants or saliva as they can weaken the valve material. Glycerin is the recommended lubricant and can be easily found at your local pharmacy. Apply the glycerin to the inflation needle with Riddell's specially tipped glycerin bottle. Insert the needle making sure not to puncture the opposite wall of the crown liner. Inflate the crown liner to adjust the height of the helmet on the player's head. When properly fit, the front of the helmet should be approximately one inch above the player's eyebrows. The back neck side liner can be adjusted using the inflation point at the rear of the helmet. Add air to achieve a snug, comfortable fit front to back and side to side. The Revolution Speed comes with both inflatable and non-inflatable S-pads. Both the inflatable and non-inflatable S-pads should feel firm against the player's face. If your non-inflatable S-pads look and feel loose, if there is space between the pad and cheek, change to a thicker size. If they're too tight, change to a thinner size. If you have inflatable S-pads installed, the fit can be adjusted with the helmet on the player's head. With the helmet on the head, inflate the S-pad at the valve located on the outside of the helmet's jaw flap. Inflatable S-pads are also available in different thicknesses. Use these to avoid overinflation. It's important to remember that in a properly fitted helmet, there should be no room for twisting. The skin of the player's forehead should move with the helmet's front pad. If the helmet slides easily over the player's forehead, adjust the fit using the inflatable airliners or try a smaller sized helmet. Remember, a properly fitted Revolution Speed helmet should rest approximately one inch above the player's eyebrows. To avoid injury and discomfort, a player should never wear a helmet that is positioned too low or too high. With all Riddell football helmets, a proper fit is essential for a player's comfort and protection. Check for a proper fit by interlocking the hands on top of the Revolution Speed and pressing down on the exterior shell. The player should feel pressure on the crown of his head, 
not his brow. If the player feels pressure on his brow, he does not have a proper fit. The Revolution Speed will include either a soft or hard cup chin strap with a mid-high hookup. Buckle the chin strap into the snaps located above and below the helmet's ear holes, making sure the cup is centered and snug over the player's chin. The bottom snaps of the chin strap are easily found below the ear holes of the Revolution Speed helmet. The top snaps are located above the ear holes and should be accessed by bringing the chin strap underneath the face mask, not above it. Chin straps are available in multiple sizes to best fit the player's chin. If the cup offers a loose fit, if it is not firmly pressed against the chin, tighten it until it fits properly. The chin strap is adjustable and can easily be modified to fit the player. With the chin strap buckled, the helmet should feel comfortable and snug. To take off the Revolution Speed helmet, the lower chin strap attachments must first be unbuckled. Next, the player should place an index finger into the left and right ear holes of the helmet. Finally, the player should press his thumbs into the bottom of the S-pads located below the ear holes on the inside of the helmet. This grip will give the player the necessary leverage to lift the helmet straight up and off his head. Nicks, streaks, and grooves on a helmet's exterior are anticipated effects of football contact. Wear and tear is commonplace. However, if a player's helmet looks to be cracked or compromised in any way, secure a new helmet immediately. This concludes our tutorial. Thanks again for choosing the Riddell Revolution Speed football helmet. And remember, a properly fitted helmet does not prevent the serious head or neck injuries a player might receive while participating in football. So practice and play sensibly, and as always, teach or utilize proper form and head positioning when participating in football contact. We hope you look to Riddell for all your protective equipment needs.